We got some breaking news here. The Las Vegas Raiders are open to the idea of moving on from Devontae Adams. That is according to Vincent Bonsignor. We'll get into the details of that a little bit, but I also was thinking about a video today, and I was going to make a show around why Antonio Pierce is to blame for all the Devontae Adams trade rumors swirling around, and then on top of this brand new report now from Vinny that the Raiders are growing open to the idea of trading away Devontae Adams. I'll tell you this right now. This really grinds my gears in a lot of different ways, and I'll get into all of that stuff today. But to me, I woke up this morning, and I was fired up to walk into work because I'm like, it's F the Broncos week. I can't wait for this week. We have dominated this team for a long time. And now the fact that I got to deal with this Devontae Adams crap really ticks me off. So you know what? I'm going to try to put a smile on the entire Raider Nation's face today because hearing all these Devontae Adams trade rumors, they ain't going to do it. So by me saying that the Broncos haven't beaten the Raiders in 1,738 days, if that doesn't make you happy, then you're watching the wrong show. If that made you smile a little bit today, click that subscribe button. So the reason why we're even talking about these crazy Devontae Adams trade rumors is late last night Michael Fabiano in terms of Devontae getting traded said I've got little birds all over right some of my little birds out there are suggesting to me that there's a chance he doesn't play another down for the Raiders and that he could have played yesterday but the Raiders are looking to deal him because they think that they could get some value for him so that's what Michael Fabiano said then it gets put on social media and what's really important here is the like and this is what's kind of stirring up me and stirring up the nation. And quite frankly, when I saw this happen, I thought Antonio Pierce was trolling. And maybe he is trolling. I do have an update. AP has since unliked this Instagram post since hearing what Devontae Adams had to say about it up on the Up and Adams show. And he has since unliked the Instagram post since the brand new report about the Raiders growing open to the idea of trading him. And raise your hand if this is you because this is 100% me. Or click the like button. When I saw that last night about the AP liking the Devontae Adams trade, I thought AP was straight up trolling. I thought he was like, how many times do we have to sit up here and say, Devontae Adams isn't going to get traded. Devontae Adams isn't going to get traded. Devontae Adams isn't going to get traded. That's what I thought, okay? But after seeing what Devontae Adams said on Antonio Pierce liking a photo of him being traded, now I'm not so sure. Now I'm even more unsure after the brand new report came out, after the Michael Fabiano stuff, after what Devontae Adams said, and now it's like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire, and the amount of smoke right now around Devontae Adams being traded. If you're somebody that clicked on this show and you're like, uh, Mitch, it's all just jokes. It's not a joke anymore. This is a legit thing happening right now around the Raiders, happening around Devontae Adams. And quite frankly, I think it is a coin flip right now whether or not Tay is a Raider by the end of this season. Because listen to what Tay had to say about AP liking this trade post. I haven't heard from Antonio Pierce. I haven't talked to him. I don't really know what that was about. Obviously, social media is a beast. So it's a lot of people out there that say it, wondering what's going on, and people have been reaching out. Honestly, it's hard to comment on that. It's one of those situations where I just keep my head down, keep doing my thing, and let the chips fall where they may. There has been no communication with anybody from the team since that became a thing. There's always some sort of trade drama, but at the end of the day, 1-7 doesn't create any of it. And I know Devontae says that he doesn't create any of it. I don't know if that's 100% accurate in that because I do think sometimes actions speak louder than words. And we heard what Devontae had to say about the Netflix series. But like, this is going to be the pin comment here on today's show. Will Devontae Adams be traded this season? Yes or no? You're about to get in with a YouTube bad break and then it's going to be my answer. I sure flip and hope not, man, because I know this. If the Raiders move on from Tay, here's the thing. I don't know if you're going to get a first-round pick for him, and that's going to really, really upset a lot of people. Near the end of today's show, I'll give you some trade ideas that I'm going to throw out there with some other teams that I believe could be interested in Tay. But here's the thing. I'm right now going to give this one to just win babies and say that it is. It is a 50% chance that Devontae finishes this season with the Las Vegas Raiders because – I will admit again that I didn't think that AP liking that photo was going to be anything big about it, but like you need to go watch the interview. You have to watch Tay's body language. You have to watch what he says. You got to see the way Kay reacts to it. It's one of those situations where it's weird, and it kind of reminds me, which I have never done this, but I've been in situations where people have, where it's like 
you're sitting down at a table with one of your friends and they're dating somebody, maybe it's their wife, and your buddy gets caught for liking an Instagram model's picture and the wife founds out. My point is, I can't understand how Antonio Pierce even allowed this situation to happen because, you know, AP spoke to the media last week and he said, well, we got to make business decisions as players. AP, you need to make a business decision as a head coach because this is not something that a grown man does. This is not something that a head coach does. If you're trolling and you were honestly trying to troll by hitting that like button and saying, oh, ha, 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 then the first thing that I would have done is I would have reached out to Devontae Adams. Because here's the thing. When you're on a part of a football team, when you're doing what this Raiders team's doing, it is like a relationship. It is like a marriage. And if there was ever something that I thought that Alex was going to be potentially get mad about, if she found out on her own, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go tell her, hey, babe, this is exactly what happened, and this is why I did it. You failed to do that. So if I'm Devontae Adams, I go, why the hell is my head coach like an Instagram post about me potentially not playing? Why is my head coach liking an Instagram post about me being able to go out there and play on game day but not doing so because the Raiders are trying to trade me? It is a bad business decision that Antonio Pierce made like in that Instagram comment. And quite frankly, I need to hear from AP. I need to hear from our head coach. If a trade with Devontae ends up happening, that's one thing. But if I'm a Raiders player in that locker room and I see everything that has transpired over the past 24 hours, I'm going, how can I trust that guy? That's real talk. AP, it's easy to go up on that podium and it's easy to yell Raiders. It's easy to be that motivator. But you got to start making a business decision. Are you trying to work in the media? Because come on over here to the Raiders report, let's do it. Or are you trying to coach an actual football team to win games? Because business decisions... That's a bad business decision you made yesterday. So coming up here on today's show, I'm going to tell you why I think Devontae Adams could potentially get traded. And I'm going to do it based on the way that I do it, where you're going to see all the trade rumors. This is why rumors are very important, where you got to be able to follow the tea leaves. you got to be able to see where that smoke's going to let, lead you to that fire. And I'll tell you what, this is not just a 24-hour period thing. There's been a lot of drama. There's been a lot of speculation around Devontae. And coming up here, I'm going to tell you all those reasons. Before I get into it, though, I hope that Raiders fans still want to be able to go watch this Raiders team play. This is a hard-fought football team. And quite frankly, I'm sick to my stomach that I even got to talk about this coming off one of the biggest wins that we've had as a team where a lot of our young, underappreciated players stepped up in a big-time situation. Now, the one way that maybe I could calm down a little bit, I was talking to my dad this morning, and he goes, Mitch, I'm going to be in Milwaukee when the Mets and Brewers are playing a little playoff baseball. So, Dad, I know that I already sent you the link, but I'm going to say it again in case you're watching. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply again. Create an account, redeem code CHATSPORTS, that's C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? It's Game Time. Now, for me... And when I go on game time, I'm always looking at the game time picks. There is a tab, which the two tabs that I will always click, all in pricing, game time picks. It's going to show you whether you want to go to a Raiders game, whether you want to go to a concert, MLB, playoff baseball. I would love to be able to go to a game. You can check out all those prices using game time. Prices drop the closer that the event gets, so that's definitely something to keep an eye on. Lowest price Guaranteed, if you plan on going to a city and you don't know what you want to do in that city, go on game time, see what deals they got rocking, and if anybody's interested in that reminder, that link's down in the comments and in the description of today's show. So let's talk here why a Devontae Adams trade could honestly happen. And if you don't know, the NFL trade deadline is November 5th, which is the game right after the Raiders play the Cincinnati Bengals in Week 9. It's also the uh, election day, which I think is just going to be one of the ugliest days that you could possibly host the show. But anyway, here's the report that came from Vincent Bonsignor. More on this to come. So I'll do my best to keep you guys updated over the next 24, 48, however many hours this thing goes on. A league source with knowledge of the situation confirmed that the Raiders are growing open to the idea of trading Devontae Adams. The source said the club has begun reaching out to teams to gauge interest in the veteran wide receiver. I know that Vinny and I have had some beef in the past, but I will say this, in terms of all the Raiders beat reporters right now, I do think Vincent Bonsignor is the one that's probably the most connected, especially with this whole Devontae Adams situation, because it was not the athletic. 
The Athletic had bad ties the last time Devontae got traded. I am. I'm going to lean on Vinny here, which I can't even believe I'm saying, but I am going to go out there and say it. And Bonsignor's not one of those dudes that's throwing something out there like that unless it is a legit good source because he's not doing that type of stuff. So when I saw that report, I go, holy shit, let's talk about this after the Michael Fabiano stuff, after Devontae went on K show. So here we go. Why Tay trade could happen. Let's face it. The Raiders failed getting a quarterback. When Devontae Adams was traded here to the Raiders, he wanted to play with Derek Carr. And he wanted the Derek Carr version that he remembers back at Fresno, back in the 2016 version, the, the version that we remember before that horrific leg injury. So then they move away from Derek Carr. Jimmy Garoppolo comes in. Brian Hoyer comes in. Aiden O'Connell, I know you guys are still saying that, but Aiden, Devontae's not coming to the Raiders to play with Aiden O'Connell. And then you failed to get a QB. I know the Raiders wanted Jaden Daniels. That guy looks like a legit, not even Rookie of the Year candidate. He looks like a legit NFL MVP right now. So the fact that you failed going out and getting a QB, that to me is one of those reasons why it wouldn't surprise me if the Raiders ended up moving on. And like, you can't afford to pay a wide receiver like Devontae Adams $44 million next year in 2025 and 2026 if your quarterback playing is Gardner Minshew or Aiden O'Connell. You got to get this team a franchise quarterback. The other reason here is this. First preseason game drama. How many people remember Antonio Pierce taking the podium and goes, if you're healthy, you're going to play. Devontae Adams goes, I'm not playing. And then he didn't have to play in the preseason game. If you're a head coach, there's no way that that rubs you the right way. If you're Devontae Adams, you'd be like, all right, I'm going to do what I want to do, and I'm going to go that way. But if you're going to preach a lot of the things that AP has preached, which is, you know, Max is the first guy there, last guy to leave. And when your head coach leans on some of these leaders to really encourage some of those younger guys, because if Max is doing it, then why the hell aren't you doing it? And AP said that yesterday in his press conference. So you go back, you look at that first preseason game drama where Devontae said, I'm not playing, after AP said everybody that's healthy is playing, a game that Max Crosby went out there and played a whole quarter, Devontae said, I'm not playing. Let's go to the next one here. Tay is way too expensive with no quarterbacks. If I'm an NFL team right now, and if you remember when the Raiders structured Devontae's contract, I said, if you really look at it, it's a three-year deal because the Raiders can get out if they trade Devontae, and they're on the books for, it's basically like, they can save $72.5 million, I think is the number right off the top of my head, if the Raiders decide to move on from Tay. And a team that ends up trading for Devontae, it's going to cost them somewhere around $35 million per year. So, like, if you're an NFL team out there, you go, all right, I got to pay Devontae Adams $35 million a year, which is right on par with what C.D. Lamb, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson are all out there getting. But, like, the Raiders from an actual team standpoint, are you better with Devontae Adams? Yes, you are better with Devontae Adams. Are you better with Devontae Adams is a no-doubter. But it's not the Devontae Adams report. It's not Devontae Adams is above the shield. Nobody's above the shield. And I think as an honest Raiders fan, you've got to look at how this team right now is using their offense. And maybe it does go to a team that wants to run the football a little bit more, be physical. And without a star quarterback, maybe having Devontae doesn't make a lot of sense. But then again, and I don't think anybody disagrees with this, you cannot afford to pay a 32-plus year Old wide receiver who right now has got a little bit of a hammy injury, but you can't afford to pay him that amount of money if you don't have a franchise quarterback. If you don't have a franchise quarterback or a QB that you're very confident in in the draft, it does not make any sense to pay Devontae Adams that amount of money. Let's go to another one here because this is recent. The business decision comments. AP said that last week, and I know Tay said that he wasn't one of those people. Though when you turn on the tape, Devontae wasn't somebody out there laying a lot of run blocks. He's not somebody out there who wants to block. And, and I'm not paying a receiver the amount of money Devontae's getting paid to go out there and run block. You're paying Devontae to be a star receiver. But he can't really be a star receiver based on Luke Getze, Rich Scangarillo, our quarterback situation, our offensive line situation. But, like, does anybody else find it a little bit strange that AP makes a business decision comment? And... I know Devontae is dealing with a hamstring injury, and right now that's week to week. However, though, hamstring injuries are one of those injuries that do have a way to linger. But AP says business decision, and then on Thursday, Devontae Adams is unable to practice. And when you hear now some of the new reports out there saying that Tay was able to play, it is a big he said, she said type of thing. And I'm so sick of all this drama that is always around the Raiders. But, like, at some point, 
Somebody's lying. And I don't know who exactly is lying in these situations, but I know this. If Tay had a 70% chance to play, do you put him out there on the football field? I, I don't have the answer to that. I know this. They literally had to tell Max Crosby to not come to the freaking stadium because if Max would have been there, he would have been out there and he would have been playing. That guy wants to play no matter what. I love me some Devontae Adams, and I wanted this to work out better. But a trade is absolutely possible. And now the brand new report from Vincent Bonsignor around the idea that the Raiders are growing open to the idea of moving on from 17. So coming up here on the show, it's this. Let's talk about the top teams that I think could potentially be interested in trading for 1-7. And then also, we'll break down what I think that trade could potentially cost from top to bottom. Now, I know that trading Devontae is going to be an unpopular opinion. But for people that have actually followed this team, dating all the way back to when the Raiders went out and traded for him in 2022, and they had Derek Carr, it has been a uneasy slope. If you watch the movie or show Netflix, you'll know Devontae wanted somebody that could get him the ball and that could help him go out there and compete at a high level and ultimately try to get a Super Bowl. Now, here's the top Devontae Adams trade destinations. This is my list. This is where I think that these teams would be interested in going out and getting Tay. I think the New York Jets are the number one, and it's not close with Aaron Rodgers. Number two is the Pittsburgh Steelers. They were one of the teams very actively looking for Brandon Ayuk deal. Number three is the Buffalo Bills, so keep an eye out for them. Number four was the LA Rams. They got a lot of injuries right now at the wide receiver position, and that's a team that's been aggressive in the past. And then, yeah, I'm going to throw them out. The New Orleans Saints with Derek Carr. Definitely another team to keep in mind. I will also say this one, and this is a bold, bold, bold prediction, but watch out for a, and this is me just speculating, 49ers swap Devontae for Ayuk. Ayuk's been really bad. He's been costing them a lot of money, but Ayuk's relationship with Antonio Pierce cannot go unnoticed. I'm just saying something to keep in mind. So here's the projected trade to us. And I also say that because based on my sources, Tay wants to stay on the West Coast, stay closer to family. Projected trade cost. The Raiders get a second round pick in 2025 and an NFL team receives Devontae Adams. Would you make this trade? Type A for accept or D for decline. And I already know that the answers I'm going to get. I already know there's going to be a lot of people upset about this one. Would you make this trade? My answer after this YouTube ad break. I would accept a trade for Devontae Adams right now if it was for a second round pick. And that's the only reason why that I say that is because I'm worried that you might not even be able to get that amount. And me saying that out loud, I feel like it's a kick in my dick. Right, real talk. Trading Devontae Adams for anything outside of a first-round pick, it is a massive, massive kick in the gonads. However, though, I do think that there are two teams that would be interested in giving up a first-round pick for Devontae Adams. The first team is the New York Jets, where I do think the Jets would be the team that's open to the idea of going out and getting Tay, especially them coming off a loss against the Broncos where their offense did not look good whatsoever. The other team that I think could... You'd get a first-round pick, Kansas City. Would you trade Devontae Adams, who just lost Rasheed Rice, they lost Hollywood Brown, would you trade Adams to the Kansas City Chiefs for a first-round pick? I'm not doing that one. I'd rather get a second-round pick from another team instead of getting a first-round pick from Kansas City because I know this. You get a first-round pick for Kansas City with Devontae Adams, that pick is guaranteed 28, 29, 30, 31, or 32. So right now, here's the Raiders' wide receiver depth chart. And it doesn't really shock me that some of these rumors are starting to pop up after Trey Tucker had himself a hell of a game, after DJ Turner had himself a hell of a game. Jacoby Myers is somebody that this team loves, especially Antonio Pierce. But the one thing about DJ Turner and Trey Tucker, when they go out there, they're not afraid to run block. And I'm telling you from somebody on that team, for somebody who told me this on that team, the coaching staff loved the Trey Tucker's ability to go out there and want to run block. He's got a wrestling background. They love that in him, and they want to get him some more opportunities out there. But does Devontae Adams fit with this Luke Getze offense and the way that this Raiders team wants to play? I'm not quite sure, man. I'm not quite sure. But what I do know is this. If the Raiders end up trading Devontae Adams, I can promise you this. I will be live as quick as humanly possible, and we're going to be up here answering questions. We're going to be up here trying to put out the fire, and I will do my best to paint a picture of it was a good trade for the Raiders. 
If it's anything less than a second round pick, this guy right here is going to be one ticked off individual. 